Yo, what's up guys? It's your boss Adari and welcome to another video on my channel. So for those who are new to my channel, you can just hit the subscribe button as we begin this session of today. So when you tap on the subscribe, next you'll just tap on the bell notification icon, then tap on all. And now you'll be notified whenever I post a new update. So for today we'll be talking about Storm Gain. Um, most of my videos have been about the BTCS app, but for today I'll be showing you how you can earn free Bitcoin with the Storm Gain app. Now we've logged in into our Storm Gain app, and the first thing that you'll notice is the miner section. So this is where you are normally directed to mine free Bitcoin. So you just tap on the mine button, and then it will start mining. So when you just tap on the green uh, button, next will show you a capture icon. And then when you solve it, it will start mining automatically. Uh, but before that, I want to show you how you can withdraw the amount that you've mined. So it can go straight into your wallet, then you can start trading it. So the main purpose of mining is because is to gain you, to help you gain um, a starting balance so that you can start trading so um when you just tap on the withdraw uh usdt the minimum that you can withdraw from your mining is ten dollars worth of usdt so when you just tap on that it will be directed straight into your your wallet and right now you can see that it takes around five minutes to two hours and we had 80 84 dollars worth of usdt and right now you'll see that we will now have 94 so let me just yeah now you can see that we have 95 usdt 59 is free for us to trade it's the bonus and that five is the amount that we have gained from trading so when you also go to if you want to start on trading uh strong gain normally uses the leverage trading where you need to use either a multiplier of five or above so you just pick your favorite coins so when you pick up here you can add it to your favorites for me these are my favorite coins that i normally trade and mostly um of later been using the gmt so when you just tap on your coin pair you will be given the option to either buy or sell but if you've not yet made any deposit to the app you can only buy so when you just tap on the icon of buy now you'll be taken straight to your trading dashboard where you'll see the amount that you can invest you can choose a different amount maybe a lower one and also the multiplier the default multiplier is um of five which is the minimum and then you have your take profit and also your stop loss so these are important for you not to lose all your money and also for you to gain um a bit more by taking your profit rather than just leaving your trade running all day and maybe your trade might reach a certain point and just start uh, declining you can also tap on the auto increase when you tap on the auto increase when it reaches 50 percent uh, loss it will add from the amount that you have remaining in your account so when you've set all that you'll just tap on the confirm buy and when you tap on that then it will start your trade for me i normally like using the limit so when you just use the market it will buy at any cost on um in the market range so mostly this will give you how uh, will start your trade off at um at a loss so it's best to set your own limit your own stop limit so that you can start off your trade at a profit and let me show you my previous trades so when you are still under the trade the trading section just tap on the trades and now you'll be shown your active trades and to see your history of trades you'll just um go to the close section and now you'll see the previous trades that i've made so whichever trade is listed as deleted um i had started the trade but i deleted it or i cancelled it so that i can use a different pair or i can set a different stop limit and also when you've set uh, your own stop limit it will be indicated here so also when you scroll down um you can see that there is a point that i was making huge losses 
um, I didn't actually have all the information that I needed and I was not using the right pairs so I was just um, following the trades advice like whenever storm game tells you to buy um it's actually not the right time to buy you should be buying when the market is crashing so that when it starts um the bull run now you'll be in profits and now you see that there are a lot of losses that have gone through this is because i left my trades running all through without having a stop loss but for the previous trades i've been gaining and right now I have that five dollars worth of USDT and now in order to withdraw you can I'll be withdrawing this to my Binance wallet and you just need to go to the wallet down below when you tap on the wallet it will take you to your balances and now we want to withdraw the that five to our Binance so we'll just first of all exchange the USDT because it's very expensive to withdraw your USDT but let me just show you that when you um when you go to withdraw you can now place your new request of withdrawal and now you see that we have the the tether and now when you input the amount that you want to withdraw we want to withdraw that 5.8 and they will tell us the amount that will arrive in our wallet and as you can see they say that the commission is that five dollars and the amount that we will receive is 0 0.7 only so we'll be exchanging this to dash so that we can withdraw the dash to our wallet so we'll just go to the exchange then we are going to ex exchange from usdt to dash so this is the dash and now we'll input the full amount of usdt that we want to exchange so we're going to exchange that five usdt to dash so we'll try to exchange the full amount which is that 5.8 and for that we'll be getting 0 0.59418469 dash so now let's tap on exchange so we are about to exchange that 5.8 to dash now let's accept uh, so it normally takes 30 seconds then we'll be able to see the amount and now you see that our usdt is no longer there that five dollars that we were seeing and right now you can see that our balance is now in dash we have dash and now we have the full amount over here and now we have the bonus which is 59 usdt that we can use to continue trading so now that our amount is in dash we'll now try to withdraw it to our binance so now let's go to our binance so we'll just go to the wallet section and then we'll go to the spot then in the spot we'll search for dash now we have the dash so we are going to deposit to this account so they say that ensure the network you choose to deposit matches the withdrawal network yeah no loud we'll just select the dash and now we have the dash network and the minimum that you can deposit is very low so there's no problem over there now we'll just copy the wallet address then go back to our storm gain app so uh, before we do that i'll also now start my mining so first of all you need to tap on the ping friends so that uh, your referrals can be notified to continue mining and the reason why i have a lot of bonuses it's because of my referrals i have more than 600 referrals and the more the referrals that are actively mining the more that you'll have in your mining bonuses so now let's solve the capture and the mining will begin yeah so it normally takes four hours and then the mining stops and after four hours you'll need to restart it so now that we have the dash we'll just go to um the wallet section select dash we have already copied our dash wallet address now we only need to tap on withdraw then we'll uh, request a new withdrawal so it's dash and the dash withdrawal address will input here just paste it then amount um we want to use the maximum amount so we'll just go back to check out the maximum that you can withdraw which is 0 0.594481 so 0 0.594481 dash and they say that we will receive 0 0.59 dash unlike the usdt where they, where they were saying that we'll only receive 0 0.7 usdt 
and the commission is very little so uh, that's uh, better than the USDT now let's paste the wallet address then the next thing is just tap on withdraw and now the withdrawal is being processed and now we need to generate a code so that we can confirm it so i've copied the six digit code from the authenticator app now we just need to input the code oh they say that i've entered the wrong so we now have the right code just tap on submit and they say that it usually takes only 30 seconds yeah no our withdrawal request has already been processed and now it will be done manually so they'll send me an email and we'll see that our, our amount will arrive on our binance so when it arrives i'll make another video to show you that exact thing and now when you go back to our wallet i think um the amount is still visible until they make the full payment it will still be visible in our account and when we tap on the withdrawal we can now see that our withdrawal is pending of 0 0.59 dash so it's still pending and um uh, maybe within a few hours or minutes it will be processed manually by storm gain so uh, storm gain has been known to pay out and everything checks out but um the result will be seen when it arrives on our binance so stick around for that i'll be showing you the next step and now i've checked and we have received an email from storm gain so right here it reads that your withdrawal request has been received and will be processed manually so this is just to confirm that um the request has been received but the withdrawal itself will be made manually so it might take a few minutes hours uh, but whenever it arrives i'll just show you the next bit of this video on binance so let's just await the withdrawal and keep on mining on storm gain and for those who have not yet started mining on storm gain you can find the link in the description of this video you can also find the link to other free mining apps and sites so that you can start your journey whether as a beginner or already as a person who's experienced in mining bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies